Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done an update. I didn't get to update properly when I got my bottom braces done. There was a lot going on at the time so I kind of haven't been recording at, at all. Not even like my natural hair care so don't come at me. <laughs> so I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what my braces, my bottom braces were like. It's pretty much the same as the top row. I couldn't chew properly because the bite changed again and I had a lot of pain as well just like with the upper row. I feel like it was a bit more painful than the upper row because there was a lot more to change I guess. I had pain pretty much every tooth and I got more pain on my canines than I did on the upper row this time around. So as you can see like it's pretty much straight. I think I took a lot of photos, I know I didn't record. But I did take a lot of photos to show you guys the progress of how quickly it moved. I'll insert the pictures here and it's like literally three weeks and they were pretty much straight, like aligned at the bottom, as you can see. Very straight. So yeah, the movement was really, really quick and I was very happy about that. I think the last update I did was when I got the blockers. So the blockers, one of them came out about three weeks in. So I was left with like a uneven bite after a while and then the other blocker came out like the following week. So the blockers made it really difficult to chew. <sighs> so with the eating, I couldn't chew properly because of the pain, because of the bite changes. I couldn't bite into anything, which is probably something that's going to be occurring throughout the whole time I have braces because I can't really bite into stuff. But because of the pain, it made it worse. And because of the pain of the canine's hair, I couldn't bite into anything on the side like I usually do. So I had to break off, like even say a burger or anything really. I couldn't bite anything. So I had to like pull it to the back of my mouth. I just found myself mushing the food at the top of my mouth like I was doing before. Which is, just feels so weird, isn't it? It just feels weird and I just felt like I wasn't enjoying my food basically. <laughs> The pain was at the back as well, but not as bad as the front. Lots of soft fruit and veg as well. But yeah, if the blockers weren't there, it would be too painful to chew anyways. The pain was like how I got them in the beginning. So it would have been really painful to chew anyways. So yeah, after four days, I could chew. I could somewhat chew. Like the bite changed a bit, so my teeth got closer together. So the gap where the blockers were was closing up because the teeth were able to align how they're supposed to be because of the blockers so after about four days i could chew properly and i actually lost a lot of weight around this time well not a lot about a couple pounds <laughs> because i just didn't want to eat because the bite was open i couldn't chew properly and i couldn't chew down my food like chicken i couldn't chew chicken so i had like a really soft food diet i skipped meals as well because i just wasn't looking forward to eating chili con carne has been quite a good staple for having braces because it's minced already and it's the rice is soft as well so it's just like yeah it doesn't really require a lot of chewing as the days went on i found it was sensitive to bite the blockers were starting to hurt my bottom teeth a bit it was just hurt it just hurt to do that even and my jaw started aching a little bit here as well i also noticed that my jaw line changed like it wasn't as pronounced as it is i feel like it's not even come back how it used to be um i used to have like quite a pronounced jaw so i don't know what's going on i hope it comes back after all the straightening's done even with the weight i have a nice jawline so I don't know. I don't know man. With the blockers, it was hard to keep my mouth shut. Like I felt like I had to force my mouth closed. So that was really uncomfortable. I was sleeping with my mouth open and everything like that. <laughs> oh yeah. So with the bottom braces, I felt pain after about four hours. I didn't take any medication. I haven't taken any paracetamol throughout this whole time. The pain is not that bad. Like it, it hurts. And I feel like if you do take the paracetamol, you'll be able to chew properly a bit more. But yeah, it's the pain's not bad. I don't, I don't think I will be taking paracetamol at all throughout my whole journey because the brunt of the pain has gone. So when you first get them on, it's when you get the most pain. And then every appointment when they tighten it, you'll feel pain for about a week. And so the most pain is gone already, I think. I'm hoping. <laughs> 
So for me personally, the bottom row hurt a lot more than the top row. As I said, it's probably because there was a lot more movement happening and the pain lasted for a longer period of time than the top row as well with the top row i think it lasted for about three weeks the pain until it totally went so this lasted a little bit longer than the top row because my teeth are quite close together on the bottom row, i had overcrowding it just felt like my teeth were grinding against each other and um pushing against each other whereas if you have like gap gappy teeth the teeth would just move into the gap my teeth felt like they were just you know grinding past each other like that and some of the teeth will click as well when i press on them so that was annoying and painful and yeah i was always wondering whether my teeth were gonna fall out my head <laughs> so i felt the most pain on all four front teeth again which is where most of the movement is going to be occurring apart from like the back molars here as well. So again, just like with the uppers, it felt like a foreign body in my mouth. I had to get used to the feeling with it being there. And it felt a little bit more rough than the top. Like I could feel it a bit more, like resting on my lip. But I didn't actually get any cuts with the bottom row. The only thing that happened was when I was sleeping, it kind of like pushed up on my mouth a bit because I like to sleep on my side. So my lip was like pushing up into the brace and it got like a line from where the wire is and I felt like that could have potentially become a sore so I was a bit more careful with how I was resting my head on my pillow and just trying not to squish my mouth at all there was a lot that happened during the time where I had my bottom braces done so after a month my wire broke on this side here I got it replaced and within a day or two it broke again so I think my appointment was the following week so I didn't get it replaced again because i just thought i'm not going to keep going back i might as well just wait and then tell her there so basically there's a tooth here that was just not setting it would move and then it would get soft and you get a spongy feeling and it would never set i think the wire was just a bit too weak for it so when i got my braces done again with the bottom she put a tighter wire and that seemed like it was doing the job so after about three weeks the wire broke again so I got another emergency appointment and got it replaced. So they put a stronger wire on this time and that basically did the job. My tooth moved into the position it was supposed to be. It was still had a, fun, a spongy feeling by the time I got my wire changed again, but it didn't break with those, those last three weeks. I think I mentioned it before. After about a month, my blocker on my right side came off and then the other one came off about a week afterwards. So on that day is when the wire broke and I got it fixed and then it broke again. So after that time I got my wire changed, I kind of like fell off my hygiene care around that time because there was a situation that happened and I wasn't taking care of myself at all. I found that my gum was bleeding behind my canine hair. So there's a hook here and if I'm not careful, with brushing that area a lot of buildup can occur at that tooth and that's what happened so i had a hygienist appointment and she said there was a bit of cal calculus is that how you say it so there was a bit of tartar buildup behind that tooth there under underneath the gum so I've done a quick clean and other than that my teeth were fine my gums are really good at the moment she did mention that my pockets will be there throughout the course of my orthodontic treatment but she said not to worry about them so i'm not worrying about them <laughs> but after i got the clean done i kept up with my hygiene a lot more than what i was doing anyway i've been eating pretty normal and not really caring about staining my teeth and so i've not been using my straws or anything like that but i do think i'm going to jump back on it because i don't want to have white squares on my teeth when i get my braces off so not only should you be worrying about getting white squares from not brushing your teeth properly, you should be worrying about staining as well. So turmeric, coffee, hot chocolate, all those things are going to stain your teeth. So yeah, you don't want to be left with yellow squares, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to jump back onto that and get a bit more serious with my staining of my teeth. And also with the water pick as well, I have not been using my water pick every day either. When I fell off my hygiene, I, I didn't use my water pick once. And I'm finding that it's just too noisy for me to use at night because my son's asleep and the bathroom's right next to where he sleeps. So 
it makes a lot of noise and he's a very nice sleeper so i first i just find myself not using it but it really does help with the flossing situation i use my incidental brushes still like i use three different sizes so i use one to clean in between the brackets another one to, to clean underneath the gum line and then i use a big one to get in the gaps between the back of my teeth and also when i've got a lot of pain i do tend to use like a softer bristle brush a manual toothbrush as well just because i find that the electric toothbrush is a bit too harsh on my teeth and it really hurts i do tend to brush a little bit longer when i use a soft bristle brush because it's not as coarse as a hard bristle brush <laughs> so i feel like my teeth aren't getting a deep enough clean but you know you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> i think i told you guys about the clear modules I think I had them before and I think I updated you. So that time around I got the completely clear ones, not the pearlescent ones, and the clear ones yellow a lot more quickly than the pearlescent ones. The pearlescent ones look a bit more obvious, but they do take more time to yellow. So take your pick. <laughs> I do prefer to have the completely clear ones. Like now, this is only two, three days old and you can't see them at all like no what's the word no contrast of the colors like the white to the yellow of my, the yellowness of my teeth so yeah so the past two times when i've got my braces tightened the doctor skipped an elastic one time i went a few weeks without an elastic was it a few weeks no so, like, so yeah i went a whole six weeks without an elastic on my tooth hair and then she did it again the next time I got my braces tightened. So I bought my own elastic bands and I replaced it myself. It was quite difficult to do, but I got it on and I did feel it moving back into the place it was supposed to be. So if you have an elastic missing, I would say to call your orthodontist and tell them that there's an elastic missing because that's what's going to keep your tooth in place you know so that's all the updates i got down on my phone from that period of time and then for the rest of that time it was just normal nothing really changed but i do find as the weeks go on i get like slight pain random pain in like different teeth so yeah it's weird <laughs> when you think that it's not working it probably is still working just like on a minor scale and so moving on to disappointment which i had about three days ago now um, I got the wire changed. I'm on a rectangular wire, I think. I've done my own research. You didn't actually tell me if it was a rectangular wire or not. But basically, what the wire is at the moment, it's changing the roots of my teeth. So instead of like the superficial alignment, the alignment is happening below my gum line. So she said I wouldn't see much changes happening um, throughout this time yeah so that's what's happening with this wire she also took the wire ligatures i had on my top row off so as you can see there's no wires there now so it's much easier to clean now i didn't realize how hard they were to clean with on but now they're off it's just so much easier to get down there it did look a bit yellow behind there so i don't know whether it was like that before or whether i've caused yellowing by not brushing properly but as i said we're gonna get them whitened afterwards anyway so. <laughs> so as you can see i got some colors at the bottom of my teeth hopefully you can see that if not i'll just put a little video up here but yeah i bought my own colors and she let me use them. I did ask, well obviously I did ask her beforehand, but I, um, I bought them with me and I said to her I want to try some new colours today and asked her if I bought my own colours, would I be able to use them? I had them in my pocket all this time. <laughs> she did say that I could use my own colours if they're the right size and whatnot. So I just whipped them out and showed her them and she said they were okay. So I went with the green, yellow and black. Just to show you guys like what different colours will look like on ceramic and metal braces. I think next time round I'm going to tell her to put the darker colour first. Because she put yellow first and the yellow looks horrible. So I would have preferred to have less yellow in my mouth and more black or more green. So yeah, I'll know that for next time anyway. I do have a few colour combos I want to try. I'm just going to get them at the bottom because I can still disguise my, my braces by just, you know, smiling like this. 
you can't see the colors so as a pain with the new wire i felt pain like everywhere <laughs> i got the wires on top and bottom as well by the way so i feel pain when i bite down my bites change it's off i got open bite <sighs> i can chew but not really chewy food so i had a steak bake from greg's and i wasn't able to chew the meat in that chicken was hard to chew as well so anything crunchy i won't be able to eat i shouldn't be eating anyway but it, it does hurt my teeth i have pain in my premolars at the top so do you see tea on both sides i feel like it's from when i had my the wire ligatures on and those were to keep them in place so now they're off they're moving with the shape of the wire i did hear a mention that these wires are night eye i don't know if you've seen it yourself in braces videos but basically if you scrunch up the wire the wire will snap back in place so that's what the wire is doing it's it's trying to be in that that shape and the heat helps to move the wire back into shape <laughs> so yeah that's what i got on my top and bottom and that's to move the teeth at the roots i watched a video from braces explained like he's really really good at explaining like braces stuff and i've watched a ton of his videos during this process not so much now because i feel like i'm over the first initial experiences but it does help to understand what's going on with your teeth so you can you know know <laughs> and you know see how your progress is going so yeah pain premolars pain pretty much everywhere except for the front I don't have any pain in the front teeth so as i said i got an open bite it just feels funny like i don't know i don't know how to explain it, it just feels funny my next appointment is in seven weeks and she said in that appointment she'll be closing the gaps on my teeth so i believe i'll be getting power chains i don't really have much gaps at the bottom of my teeth i just have like some black triangles there so i don't know if they're gonna have what's that i ivf Mm. i can't remember the the abbreviations but basically the filing of the teeth so they can be closer together and to close the gaps it's not a big deal but would provide some space for the teeth to be able to move at the bottom and then at the top the shaving down will just be for like shaping the teeth not really for alignment apart from the front actually i think as this gap closes there'll be a black triangle here so they'll probably shave down just a little bit here so we'll see um looking forward to that actually because the gaps are really annoying <laughs> whereas i usually smile on this side i feel like this side is better to smile on because there's no gaps on this side so yeah overall i'm pretty happy with my progress and with the braces in general i am quite ready to get them off because i just want to be able to chew and eat my food properly i find i do get a lot of mood changes when I, mean, I don't enjoy my meals so yeah i need to enjoy a meal i think i've said that in every video but i need to enjoy a meal at some point i also find that there's a lot of saliva in my mouth so when i'm chewing my food and i'm eating like saliva covers here and i always have to like have a napkin and dab it it's just so annoying but yeah that was a long update i'm sorry for having to put two updates together but i was going through it <laughs> i was going through it so yeah back to normal now but yeah that's all there is to it let me give you a close-up of my teeth straight isn't it can you believe how straight my lower arch is like it's pretty much almost perfect so happy honestly i can't wait until it's all done and i've just got straight perfect teeth i keep looking back at my befores my before photos and obviously because i've got all these gaps now it's like i can't really see well i can see progression but i'm just like i just want to see how my teeth are going to look with these gaps closed and with the canine movement it's weird because i thought that my canines would have to move quite a bit more than they are maybe it's very subtle and probably wouldn't the canines that needed to move but do i think 
Invisalign would have done the job? Probably. I still feel confident in my decision to get braces. So like with Invisalign, if I had to go get refinements, it would be like the computer doing my refinements, if you know what I mean, not an actual person. And I feel like I have that like, that safety blanket knowing that an actual human is doing my treatment, you know? I'd rather trust a human than a computer, I feel. Yeah. And my orthodontist said I could keep going until I'm completely happy as well. But anyways, that's my update. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up. And if you wanna follow me on my braces journey, make sure to click that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.